first Tokyo coffee shop is Glitch Coffee. They have two locations, one in Ginza and one in Shidoya City. This was one of the most suggested places and I'll say it was so worth it. The barista let me smell a few different beans and once I smelled this Colombia Huila Monte Blanco blend, I had to try the latte. It was a completely different taste than any other beans I've ever had. Incredibly sweet, had some pins of white chocolate and melon blended together. Just absolutely delicious. Yeah. I actually went back the next day to buy those same beans. These were roasted actually yesterday and I get back in about 10 days. So that's like the perfect timing to actually use these beans for my own espresso. The next morning we went to Woodbury Coffee in Shibuya. Once you're seated, they'll share what espresso beans they're using today. It's super easy to order, they have an online digital menu that's also in English. If you're looking for a coffee shop with really good breakfast, this is the place to go. I ordered a classic breakfast and shared a hojicha cheesecake that was homemade. Guys, I pulled my back, I'm not kidding. <laughs> He's laughing and I'm in pain. Okay, I wouldn't say the coffee was better than Glitch though. I still think Glitch has been my favorite coffee. Especially, well, probably because of the beans. Yeah, you were really into the beans at Glitch. Yeah. It's hard for me to compare them like super side by side because I got hot versus cold and the flavors were just different. But but did you like this one? Yeah, it was really good. Okay. We just got on the bullet train. We're going to Kiona. Brandon's over there. Like two girls. <laughs> I don't know where we're walking to. Where are we walking to? Just get out of the park. Oh, that person walking by is a paid actor. Oh, the, that car driving by was also a paid actor. It's ice cream truck. Should I get the shirt? Yeah, get the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we just tried. Also Cafe in Kyoto. I tried their hojicha, which was so good. Probably a 10 out of 10 actually. And I did buy their hojicha powder, their house blend. But Kurosu Cafe in Kyoto, definitely recommend. I'll drop the link or the area in the description down below. So unfortunately today is a work day and I'm not going to be able to visit a new coffee shop. However, I still kind of am. We are going to a blue bottle here in Tokyo to get some work done. The interior of that place from the photos looks really, really nice. So I'm going to get some shots. We're going to go over there, get some work done. I'll definitely try the coffee out, maybe a dessert, and I'll let you guys know how it is. It's very festive. <laughs> Was okay. it a festive dessert? You think I want a, a, like a little bit of everything? You got all the textures. <laughs> the textures it threw me off. 
The textures are crazy. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that at all. I think the presentation was good enough. The, the interior is pretty nice. It was a nice place to work at, but there were also no outlets, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna try the signature coffee mamea course. The standard one, so it comes with cold brew, milk uh, brew, or mocktail, and filtered, and then some like little bites of like sweets. And if you want like an espresso or latte, you have to like, I think it costs more. So we're just, we're just gonna try the standard course, and it's called, the beans are called lollipop. It's like a blend. Kind of excited. I'm excited. Just get a light and get a second bite. Yeah, it's very caramel. Like, I said chamomile. Chamomile? <laughs> yeah, it's even caramel. It's a bit of milk, juice, and second milk chocolate, you know. But this lollipop has a lot of berry notes too. So it tastes like a little bit strawberry, milk, and chocolate tea. Mm -hmm. What did you say? It's <laughs> coffee. It's coffee. It's like coffee. It's coffee. <laughs> That's me with like whiskey people. They'll be like, this whiskey's so smooth. I can't. I, no, that's just whiskey. <laughs> I'll be honest, I do wish I tried single origin instead of a blend. Brilliant coffee. Oh. This one's Whoa. Which one, which one is your favorite out of everything? Ah. Uh, it's basically, I did it up. Geisha coffee. Yeah, geisha is good. Then now it's this Abu. Abu GW is a geisha washed coffee. Mm -hmm. Do we have a choice? Like, can I try? It? Yeah, is it? If you pay the extra. Yeah. Yeah, you can. How much it. is the extra? Oh, it's a basically the best is a this. Price. Oh, so one cup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. But and then yeah, you can share. Okay, okay. Bro, look at my uh, right foot. <laughs> That's the lollipop hit. <laughs> okay, so this one's the Elita Geisha, 2,500 yen per Is it hot? It's not cold. A little more of a light roast bowl, very fruity. Glitch just moves it. Glitch just actually just, like, that might be like my number one so far. My heart's at like the speed of light. Maybe that's how we're supposed to drink slowly. I could run a marathon. <laughs> Can we get the tab, bro? I'm gonna peel my cheeks off. <laughs> oh, it's because you didn't have food. Right? They caffeinate their water, too. <laughs> <laughs> I had to finish your trip for you. You probably shouldn't have ordered extra. The standard course is more than enough. This is our last day. We're leaving for our flight today out of Tokyo. But I thought I'd show you guys a quick room tour. This is me standing in the front door. You guys can see how small this place is. And then this is the restroom. Ooh. Basically. And then this is the bed and window. So there's not a lot of space. This place was tiny, but it was okay because we 
technically are only in here to sleep, and that's pretty much it. But last day in Tokyo, our flight leaves today in the afternoon. We're gonna hit one more coffee shop, and then we're gonna head right home. temperature thermometer with my espresso. <laughs> 